بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله على محمد وآله الطيبين الطاهرين ولعنة الله على أعدائهم أجمعين من الآن إلى أبد الآبدين إمام حسين عليه السلام one year in the days of Hajj in the pilgrimage next to the Holy Kaaba was summoned by the person in charge of Hajj that year to an event that had amazed many Muslims and that event was that amongst the Hujjaj and amongst the men and women circulating around the Holy Kaaba was an individual who had placed his hand on the arm of an unrelated lady. He saw a lady in front of him circulating the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he was attracted towards her. Hence, when she raised her arm, he took his arm, his hand and placed it on, his, on her arm. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as a result of this act, had glued the hand of this man onto the arm of this lady. As much as this man tried to remove his arm and hand from the arm of this lady, he was not able to. Until this scene attracted the attention of the Muslims and the men and women circulating the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala until the circulation stopped and all the Muslims were attracted towards the scene. Alternatively, this man and the lady were brought to the presence of Imam Hussein alayhi salam as all the scholars present in that year in Mecca were not able to bring an answer to this happening an occurrence once asked Imam Hussein alayhi salam had faced the holy Kaaba and recited and supplicated to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala after finishing his supplication he came and removed the hand of that man from the body of that lady then the person in charge of Hajj that year asked Imam Hussein should we not punish this man for this action Imam Hussein alayhi salam pointed out that it is enough that this man was involved in such a scene that all of the Muslims that year had been attracted towards this action that he has committed. The same man was named Al-Jamal, the person that, camo that hired the camels. This Al-Jamal was the man that had placed his hand on the arm of that lady. Years later, let's, let's take a lesson from how we can repay the rahmah, the beneficence practiced by Imam Hussein alayhi salam towards this man. Years later, in the event of Ashura, on the night of the 11th of Muharram, this Jamal, this man who was saved by Imam Hussein alayhi salam, and Imam Hussein practiced rahmah towards him, how did he repay? This kindness from Abi Abdullah al Hussein. He came after the martyrdom of Imam Hussein, and after the body of Imam Hussein was being looted, he wanted to loot a piece of clothing from the body of Abi Abdullah al Hussein. He wanted to take a piece of a shirt or a pajamas from the body of Imam Hussein. The Imam after his martyrdom, he's lying there on the plains of Karbala, moved his right hand and placed it on that piece of clothing. This man, this Jamal came, took a broken sword and severed the hand of Imam Hussein alayhi salam and looted that piece of clothing. The lesson we can learn is that sometimes people do many things against us which we do not like. They wrong us, they speak against us. But we should exercise this rahmah that we recite every day in Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim in the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Allah practices, practices that rahmah towards us. So we as the servants of Allah should practice that rahmah towards one another. Because once we do that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make us successful in our lives. The beneficent, the merciful. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.